coming to home school this is your second session of probability already in our first session we have seen the introduction of probability now we are going to start a second session in the second session we are going to start a textbook exercise i think everybody know the textbook this is your sslc ncrt syllabus part 2 textbook in this 14th chapter is probability we are going to start a 14.1 exercise it's very small tiny exercise let's deal this exercise uh, in this first main we have five bits okay let's solve these bits here itself okay uh, orally we are going to start this exercise first main complete the following statements first question probability of an event e plus probability of the event not e is dash so how do you talk this one probability of an event what do you say here p of e plus probability of not an event is equal to dash is your question we know in our introduction class we already have seen this probability of an event plus complementary of that event is equal to 1 let's go with the second one Second one. What is the second question? The probability of an event that cannot happen is that cannot happen. Happen means its value will be zero. Such an event is called. What is that event called as name? What is the event? It is impossible event. Let's fill the dashes here. The probability of an event that cannot happen is zero such an event is called as impossible impossible event coming to your third bit similar bit you have here the probability of an event that is certain to happen happen means the event is possible if it is possible the value of the event is one such an event is called what? You can write this as a certain event, sure event, possible event. So let me write the value 1 and one more answer in this bit is you are going to write it as certain event. Okay. So you have fourth fill in the blank. Also you have fourth fill in the blank. The sum of the probabilities of the all the elementary events of an experiment is we know all the sum of all the events value is 1. So coming to your fifth bit, the probability of an event is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. We already discussed what is the range of the probability. Probability range will be in between 0 and 1. We know that the range cannot be uh, negative. Probability can never be negative and it is not more than 1. So what's your answer here? Your answer is first, first bit you are going to say it is 0 and your second bit you are going to say it is 1. And second coming to your Coming to your second main. Coming to your second main, you are having here four sub questions. Four sub questions. What are the four sub questions? Can you see the four sub questions here? Which of the following experiments have equally likely outcomes? Explain. Okay, let's see the question here itself in our textbook. So, what is equally likely outcomes? Both having a same chance of happening. We call them as a equally likely outcome. Let's see the first question. Let's read from our textbook itself. A driver attempts to start a car. Oh, what is this sentence? A driver is ready to start a car. The car starts or does not start. How could we know whether it may start or does not start? If it is having in a good condition, it may start. Or if it is having diesel, it may start. Or if it is uh, diesel tank is empty, it won't start. So it is not in a good condition, it cannot start. But it depends on the factors. So I cannot say that it is equally likely. So what is your final answer for this statement? It 
is not equally likely outcome coming to your second question a player attempts to shoot a basketball uh, she or he shoots or misses the shot so what is this a player is shooting a basketball so it depends on the ability of the he or she ability of the shooter uh, they he may shoot or she may shoot or she may misses or he may misses the shot so we cannot guess this so it is the chances also we cannot say so this is not equally likely outcome okay it also depends on the energy or the ability of the person so we cannot guess this so it is a not equally likely outcome coming to your third question a trial is made to answer a true false question what is your third question a trial is made to answer a true or false question means a question is answered means answer will be done either it is true or false see here answer if i answer anything i speak is uh, i spell a word it might be true or it might be false means true have a same chance and false have the same chance what do we call this both have a same chance of happening so we call it as a equally likely outcome in this main a first two are not equally likely outcomes third one is equally likely outcome coming to your fourth question a baby is born a baby is born it is a boy or a girl see here baby is born baby born they already given here baby it might be girl or it might be girl both have a same chance of happening so both will be having a equal chance so we call this as a equally likely outcome in the second main first two are not equally likely and next two are equally likely outcomes okay let's see the third question also here itself what is your third question why is tossing a coin considered to be a fair way of deciding which team should get the ball at the beginning of a football game so what is this so what is this one here we toss a coin we toss a coin while we are play uh, you might be knowing playing cricket and uh, they all select the team what batting or ball how do they sell it by tossing a coin why do they use this because it is a fair way how can we say this uh, the result is unpredictable so we have a both have a equal chance it may get hits or it may get tails we cannot say or we cannot predict the answer so only we decide this and this is a fair way of choosing this tossing a coin as a Uh, for football game or it might be for cricket game the chances both the chances are equally likely and the result is unpredictable so only it is a fair way of choosing so coming to your fourth problem so fourth problem let's see the options here so you have in your fourth problem some options let's see uh, there is uh see Fifteen percent. Okay. So here, which of the following cannot be the probability of an event? Is your question? Cannot be a probability of an event. So we should recollect something. It should be a probability of an event means the range must be in between zero and one, and it can never be negative. Okay, let's see your first option here. First option A, two by three. Two by three. What we are going to get here? Zero point. Okay, you are going to get the value in zeros only. Zero point range will be in between zero and one. So this is a probability. I cannot say it is not a probability. But whereas B option. See here. It's more than one, and also here main you should observe is a negative sign. Probably can never be negative. So 
so it is not a probability. Coming to your third option, 15%. Always we see percentage in the form of 100%. 100% 15% so this range also will be in between 0 to 1 coming to your D D option this is also a probability and D option 0 0.7 0 0.7 is more than 0 and less than 1 so this is also a probability so what is our question which, is, which cannot be the probability of an event now everybody can say what is your answer. This is your answer. Option B minus 1.5. Okay, with this we end four problems. We are going to start the fifth problem. Probability is very easy chapter. If P of E is equal to 0 0.05. What's your question here? What is the probability of not E? Not E is a complementary event. Not E. P of E bar is equal to how much? We know the rule, right? P of E plus P of E bar is equal to what? P of E value is how much? 0 0.05 plus P of E bar is equal to 1. Okay, we are going to send the 0 0.05 this side. 1 minus 0 0.05. If you are going to subtract this, you are going to get 0 0.95 is your answer. What's your fifth problem answer? 0 0.95. That is the probability of getting an event. Your question is probability of getting not an event. Your value is 0 0.95. Let's start with the sixth problem here. Sixth problem is uh, very easy. Look here carefully. A bag. Can you see the problem clearly? You can hold your textbooks with you and then you can compare the question also. A bag contains. Okay, what I can read here? A bag. So let's draw a bag on the board. Uh, sixth problem. Let me draw a small bag. Okay, this is your bag. In this, what are this L? L represents lemon flavored candies. So, a bag contains lemon flavored candies only. So, in this bag, what do you have? Only lemon flavored candies. Malini takes out one candy without looking into the bag. Okay, now what is Malini doing? She is going to pick one candy from the bag. What is the probability that she takes out? Our event questions are starting here. So, find the first question in this. An orange flavored candy. What is your question here? Orange flavored candy it seems. So, look here. Can you see any orange flavored candies in the bag? No, no. All are lemon flavored candies only. So, what you are going to write here answer? Orange flavor candies are not there in our bag. So, this event is not possible. Not possible in the sense the event is impossible and the value is 0. Okay? So, coming to your second question. A lemon flavored candy. Lemon flavored candy in the bag itself all are lemon flavored candies. Do you know how many candies are there? No, no, they did not give us how many. They just said that in the bag only lemon flavored candies are there. So when our question comes here, what is the probability of getting lemon flavored candies? You can write it as this event is possible. If it is a possible, this event is a sure event. Sure event value is 1. Okay, we are all writing answers in a little shortcuts we are doing. It is easy to understand. Okay, seventh one. Coming to your seventh problem. Okay, seventh problem. Last two problems. We are going to end the session today. It is given that in a group of three students. How many students are there? Three students. So, okay, let's draw three students here. Okay, you can see three students here. The probability of two students not having the same birthday is 0 0.992. What is the 
probability that the stud two students have the same birthday. So, <coughs> look here. The probability two students having the same birthday. Let me consider the event here. What is the event? Two students having same birthday. Let me write it as P of A or E. Anything you can say. P of E is how much? 0.992. Let the students not having the same birthday. P of E is equal to 0.992. What is the probability that the two students have the same birthday? Can you see here carefully? These two will have same birthday. And your question is having same birthday. Uh, do you feel it is a complementary, right? So same thing we do here. How do we do here? By using the rule P of E plus P of E bar is equal to 1. P of E is equal to. We know P of E value. 0 0.992 plus P of E bar is equal to 1. P of send this side. 1 minus 0 0.992 that will be okay so how do you write this one what is this answer here 0 0.008 is your answer like this we are going to end our session next problem seventh problem we are going to complete let's see last three more problems eighth problem a bag contains Let's see here. Eighth problem. Look over here. Bag itself. Okay. Quickly I have drawn small tiny bag with a handle. So a bag contains three red balls. So how many red balls you have here? Let me draw red. Three red balls. And how many black balls we have here? Five black balls. A ball is drawn at random from the back. So here you can see in this bag there are total how many balls you have here? 8 balls. Total in the sense what we are going to write it as? We are going to write it as N of S is equal to 8 balls we have here. So what is your question? Probability that the ball drawn is a red color. So I am going to pull one ball from this bag. So your first sub question in this. Like the question is red pencils. So in this bag how many balls are there? 8 balls are there. In that 3 red balls and 5 black balls are there. So red color balls. So let the event, I am going to consider this event as E. E1 that is N of E1 or you can take it as R also you can take here which red color no? N of R is equal to how much? 3. Probability of occurring this event is equal to N of R by N of S. That is 3 by 8 is your answer. And again, uh, you have two more questions in this. White. Let's carry this problem here. Second sub-question. What is your second sub-question? White. How many white balls you have here? Do you have a... Oh no, no, sorry. This is uh, not red itself. Okay, not red. Not red. Directly I can say it is 5 by 8 is your answer. But not red, how do you write here? P of R bar is your question. Okay, again I use the same rule. P of R plus P of R bar is equal to 1. So, that is P of R value, you know, that is 3 by 8 plus P of R bar is equal to 1. Send this this side, P of R bar is equal to 1 minus 3 by 8. If we do LCM, 8 minus 3 by 8, that will be 5 by 8. P of R bar is equal to 5 by 8. That is not red is equal to 5 by 8. Still two more problems are there. Let me clean the board and I will continue now. Okay. It's in 
enough, I hope so. Let's start with the ninth problem. A box contains, let me draw a box here. Uh, in this red color, how many balls you have? Five red color balls, eight white color balls and four green color balls. So this is your ninth question. One ball is take out, taken out of the box at random. What is the probability that the marble taken out will be red, white, not green? Three sub-questions are there again here. So instead of first, what we are going to write? N of S. What are all the possible outcomes in this box? How many are there? Let's count. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 8, 17. Okay? First, any probability problem, we start with the sample space. So first sub question in this. What is your first sub question? Red. So red. So how to write? Let me consider an event. If you want you can consider R, white or any E1, E2 also you can say. So let me consider my event as N of R. Number of red balls. How many are there here? 5. But I cannot say direct answer 5. Your question is? Probability of red balls. What is your formula? N of R by N of S. That will be 5 by 17 is your answer. So simple, right? Second question in this. White. White. Uh, how many white balls are there here? 8 white balls are there. So let's start. N of white balls is equal to 8. Probability of getting white balls is equal to Number of white balls by total number of sample spaces 8 by 17. Similarly, we have third version not green. What is this not green? First, we should know what is a green. Not green in the sense other two, right? So, how do you write this one? You can choose this problem. You can do this in two more methods. You can, but let me go with this now. Not green. P of G bar. So here, not green. Not green if you want. You can add other two probabilities. You are going to get the not green also. So let's see here. How many? Uh, not green. What is the red probability here? 5 by 17. And what is your white probability here? 8 by 17. If you do LCM. 5 plus 8, that will be 13 by 17 is your answer. 13 by 17. Last one more problem. With this, we are going to solve. Okay. Thank you. There are 10 problem. This is a piggy bank. Let's see the example here. Directly we are going to discuss here. In a piggy bank, uh, you will be saving some coins. Rupee, 1 rupee, 5 rupees, 3 rupees, like that. 2 rupees you will be saving, right? So in this question, you have 50 pies are 100 coins are there. 1 rupee 50 coins, 2 rupees 20 coins, 5 rupees 10 coins. Total sample spaces. Total sample spaces that is none other than n of s is equal to how many coins you have here? 180. In this, you have first question. How, what is the probability of getting 50 pies a coin? How many, let the event be even. n of even is equal to how many 50 pies a coins are there? 100. Probability of getting this event is equal to 100 by 180. Coming to your second problem, what will not be a 5 rupee coin? Will not be a 5 rupee coin. This problem can be done in two ways. Will not be 5 rupee means in 180 you remove 10. How many are there? 170 by 180. Or other three probabilities if you add also you are going to get. That is 50 by 100 by 180, 50 by 180. 20 by 180. If you are going to add, same answer you are going to get. 